Hey guys, it's Quirky Serial here, back with another Ember Knight video. In this video, I'm doing Doom 25 on the stat. Let's jump right into this and start with the Ember Tree. We're going Earn Vitality, Giant Slayer, Pocket Change, Confidence, Refinery, Expertise, Relic Dice, Guardian Angel, Expansion, and Bonus Relic. Uh, expertise is the best in slot here because you want to be dealing as much damage with skills as possible. And just before we hop into the weapon mods, um, the relics I'm taking, to start at least, is Supreme Ambition, Onyx Raven, Pearl Scepter, and a Frostbite. Um, usually I would have taken Arcane Bolts over Supreme, but I think we need the, the damage scaling here, so we're taking Supreme Ambition. And what else do we got here? For weapon mods, we are going with Magic Orbs, Focus, Clairvoyance, and Arcane Mastery for the uh, Quasar Orbs. And the only challenge I have left is this challenge, which is the Radiant Nexal Staff Challenge, which is defeat or beat a run with 25 difficulty modifiers active. So we're going for this. Also, instead of hulking, I'm going to throw on Horde 3. Actually, I'll go with Horde 4 and then uh, pick. Actually, I need that one on. Hmm. Maybe pick. Or down. What do we take down? More elites. That's fine. World one boss variant. Eh, not really needed. Here, sure, let's just take one down on slot. That's fine. All right, let's send it. So the entire goal. Once again, is to beat the run uh, with 25 difficulty modifiers on, which uh, shouldn't be too, too hard. And the other goal is to use as many skill charges as possible, because that's how I'm going to be scaling, is with using skills. So, yeah, every kill needs to be with a skill, pretty much. Also, Chakram here. Chakram is solid. All right, let's uh, swap these around because for some reason, because our orbs was bugged and it wasn't at eight refresh, it was at 10. Also, yikes. The suppression obelisk is very annoying. So I don't want to kill that many enemies with uh, my normal attacks. I want to kill everything with skill charges. And that's very hard to do when the suppression obelisk literally locks both skill charges. We are looking for either a frostbite, which we did not get. Glacier necklace is not bad, but uh, search fan is also good. It's just a lot of damage. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Come on. Do you want magic tome? Nah. Purple necklace? Nah. Spirits? That's massive. Source is actually so good. Since we, now we have a bonus charge or uh, an extra charge capability, I guess. Um for each skill, which is really, really nice. Um, especially for Chakram, since Chakram uh, has some good damage and... Wow, I just dodge that. Um, and it can hit multiple enemies, which means I can freeze multiple enemies at once, which is quite, quite nice. Also, did I not perfect that Chakram? That was weird. Okay. Guess not. Right, what are we already? We're already at 87%. Ridiculous. Although that's kind of just how you have to do these uh, Doom 25 runs. Make it really easy. You just need some form of like ridiculous scaling, and thus it makes it really, really easy. Um, don't forget, you can always zap apples to get an extra charge, a bonus charge of your skill, your first slot skill, that is. Um, it is temporary though. So. I don't expect to just be stacking up more charges. You can only get a bonus of one. So even if you have multiple apples and you zap both, you'll only ever get the benefit of one. Um, you actually can't even eat the second apple crisp um, if you did activate one and that gave you the bonus charge. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, hey, solid. We are just melting with the chalk from here. Absolutely melting. 
Opgrim is doing so much damage, it is almost one-shotting everything. In fact, there might be a better start than this. I think the better start would be, uh, instead of taking a Frostbite, you take Black Ice. It increases all damage, um, it applies Freeze. So, with that being said, with Black Ice, it basically just multiplies your skill damage by a percentage. So at level 1, Black Ice is 1.5x, at level 2, it's 2x, and at level 4, which is the max, it'll be at 3x damage. So your skills damage will be multiplied by your skill damage, then multiplied by whatever level of Black Ice you have, which obviously I don't have Black Ice right now, but that is what we're going to be trying to roll for. Uh, Bob's Containment Field is also extremely strong here. Um, really, really good. Also, Decayed Scepter is also really good. Um, that's the other option that I was thinking of, is going Decayed Scepter route and then going like a, a gold build. Um, yeah, not 100% sure which one's best. Also, wow, we are not hitting anything good here. Uh, not sure. Let's just take Pristine Bands. And we're not going to take the uh, Impact Charm. We're just going to save for next shot, pretty much. We're almost at that point where Chakram is actually one-shotting everything. Like, we're almost there. We're super close to that point. Which is super cool to see. Um, yeah, like, just so much damage. Chakram just has double the base damage of uh, Zara Orb slash Arcane Bolt. So Chakram is, like, such a good pickup here. It'll scale so much better with uh, the high skill damage. So wait a second. Hold the phone. Wait a minute. Okay, no, it didn't happen. Wait, what caused it to, like, swerve? Was I charging another cast of Chakram at the time? Huh. I don't know what happened there. Also, wow, Nice Charge can be really strong. Um, however, Rupture also scales extremely well with skill damage, so I'm going to try Rupture out. I'm also going to swap over Chakram to my first slot, because I don't really want to uh, have Rupture there. It has like a much higher um, refresh rate. So I'm really not sure how I feel about this. It does have a lot of damage, but... Is it enough? Is it worth it? The AoE is pretty damn big too. But big groups of enemies do just perish. Huh. I am unsure. Uncertain. Uh, we're gonna grab Glacier actually. Glacier's pretty solid. We're onto boss fight already. Okay. Four minutes in. Not bad, not bad. You definitely just use Chakram's here. Chakram is the best skill for bosses because you can get multiple hits off. In fact, you can get a ton of hits off. Like, we just one cycled with three Chakram's in circulation and level one frostbite. That's kind of crazy. But then again, yeah, remember, we are scaling skill damage to oblivion. Like, uh, let's see how much skill damage we're already at. We're already gained 245% from Supreme Ambition. Like, that's just ridiculous. Even more from stats. Akram all the way. Should be able to do a ton of damage with Chakram in this area. Chakram should be able to almost one-shot everything. It's like a perfect cast, that is. Um, do we just take the Kate Scepter? I think we just take... Oh my god, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. That's fine. We got absolute ambition. Even more scaling. Even more scaling. If we can just perfect Chakram. It is so easy. So incredibly free.
Also, I'm just picking up a lot of moose food because moose food is very beneficial in uh, in runs that I know are going to take long because it puts down on a lot of the time to uh, like just run through rooms. So, picking up as much moose food as possible. Don't get me wrong, these runs are going to take a while, especially if you want to do the, uh, the scaling way, which is probably the easiest way. It just obviously makes the run take longer since you need, like, horde on. Oh, that rupture is actually so good. Its AoE is ridiculous. Look at this crazy AoE. Oh, that's unfortunate. Doing 220 damage while Chalkrim is doing 110. Wow. Okay. We are hooking with this build. to make sure I didn't uh, use any chakram skills because we know that we had mini boss next so mini boss is exactly where we want to use all of them to just you know absolutely one cycle <laughs> it's actually crazy the anti DPS that we had there another necklace nah I think we take the safe route which is taking bitter chisel and then we uh, just grab bone plate, I guess. Take the armor, since we will be killing a lot of enemies. I guess we take the skill damage. Why not? And easy. Uh, not even gonna pick up the crit, honestly. Don't need it. Crit will not be worth it with this build, I don't think. I mean, obviously, I probably should just pick it up since you know it is just another stat gem, but it's, uh, it's not gonna do too much for us, I don't think. So there's no like, I don't know, need to pick it up, I guess. It's just if I get a certain relic, I'll come in clutch but not really looking for it and don't think I'm going to find it very easily. I'll take the horn, why not? I believe the horn increases move speed and damage, not just damage, so it's not terrible. Grab or what the hell happened there? We just zapped one of them out of existence. Bro, what? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> also, easiest boss to one cycle ever. So, if I don't one cycle, I'm gonna end the video here. So, better one cycle. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, easiest mini boss. Sorry, easiest boss to one cycle. Literally super easy. As long as you have like any sort of damage, you can one cycle. Um, the between phases, kind of like, I don't know, acts like he's going to disappear for a while, and then you can just get him down to the next threshold, and then you can kill him off after that. 
which just makes the build so or sorry makes the boss so incredibly easy being able to basically just do like uh i think he has around 2000 health so if you can deal roughly like 600 damage in like i don't know three seconds maybe less than that maybe like two seconds like three times then you just one cycle them like it's just that easy also I don't really like any of these. I mean, Bane of Mortality is pretty good. But, uh... I'm not sure. Hmm. Now, we're gonna take it. It is kind of a gamble, because if we take damage once, we're gonna lose way more health than we would normally lose. And thus, basically, just making the run impossible. But, uh... We'll be fine, right? Oh, we got Frost Pact. Although, we kind of need the Rage of Glove for healing. You know, we have, uh... Dirt Chisel for boss fights. We kind of need the healing, I think. Although, nah, never mind. We don't. We have the DPS. We are fine. We got the DPS. Boss fights are gonna be easy. Chillin'. Some gold into the well, and uh, stat selector always stat selector is always the best option, um, unless you need like a specific skill. Also, damn, we just lost some max HP. How oh, unfortunate. So the wisps are kind of stealing kills, I think, but hopefully it's not too big of an issue. Just have to wait and see, I guess. It does kind of seem like Wisps are doing a little too much, but nothing I can really do about it, to be honest. So we'll take the Overcharge Gauntlet. Hmm. We are kind of really gambling upon uh, getting one relic. And said relic is called General's Saber. It allows your crits or your skills to crit, which is just ridiculous. However, the only downside is A, it's an epic, so it's rare, or hard to get, and the other downside is we only have a little bit of crit, so is it worth taking General Saber for everything else? I'm not sure. Really not sure. And we only have a couple more shops as well, which uh, is kind of rough, it's a little bit rough at least. Another room modifier that I do not like. This room modifier is just really annoying. Like extremely annoying. There's another oh, and it moves one health. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna be like, why is this still going? Where's the enemies at? We did find them. So it's fine. All 
Alright, nice. We also got Mimic King coming up. I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. But we're gonna take a chance here again. Kind of gambling on that General Saber right now, which is not bad at all. So I think the Wisps are just going to carry this entire uh, thing. Our minds, they died. Which is actually kind of good. It gives us more time to actually open chests. And deal with other things. Like possibly picking up relics and stuff. Before we have to deal with killing them. Which, wow, wait, we didn't kill all of them all at once. Huh. Actually kind of good. You genuinely want to leave like one mimic left so you can continue to open chests. But, uh, I don't know. Also, we chose not to get Reach of Cloak before, but I think now we take it. I think. So, wow, these are trash. These are absolutely trash. We are not taking either. Those are terrible. Zap the apples, make them into apple crisp. Pick them up because obviously we need the skill charges. Also, gonna go Gem of Vigor because uh, Point Healing Fountain refreshes our skills, but we don't need the health, so there's no point in like actually going there. Um. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I can say about the choice options there. Just not needed, so why take it pretty much, right? Should we boss fight? Yep. Okay. 177 health, which is actually a lot. Um, if we don't take too much damage here, we should be in the clear of uh, not losing any health. Also, we should be max chakra charges, maybe? Wow. Okay. Well, we're gonna two cycle, hopefully. Just not bad. Actually, we're not gonna two cycle because I just didn't have the skill charges. I'm not sure if I took damage there. Is that 177 entering that fight? So theoretically, I should be at uh what? 202? I took one damage. I think. Yeah, I think I took one damage, which is not bad at all. More move speed, I guess. Don't really need the health anymore since we're gonna be gaining a lot of health. Ooh, the damage is starting to fall off, honestly. I mean, rupture. Still doing really good, but uh, Chakram, its damage is kind of falling off. We need to find something that'll uh, boost its damage. Damn, okay, well, Chronograph is good too. Getting uh, also easy secret room. <laughs> Let's go 125 ember, solid. Oops, going back. A crit here. We are really gambling upon getting General Saber right now. Saber will go crazy because it'll allow my uh, skills to crit. Although, wait, I don't even need my skills to crit because Chakram has default crit chance. Wait a second, we're chilling. Chilling, we have 25% crit. Nice.
Wow, <laughs> Rupture actually is so good. I never thought Rupture was good. I really didn't. It takes quite a while to charge, but it just works. Especially with the uh, Earl Scepter. It kind of just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that things take so long to charge because everything's frozen anyways, so it's not like you're uh, losing time. So we'll just grab more crit, why not? Uh, three Chakram charges. Hmm. Is that enough to kill Miniboss in one cycle? Probably. As long as I perfect both. Or all three. Okay, never mind. It doesn't even matter. Literally just death. Literally just death. Um, do I even take a another Frostbite? I don't really need it. But mine as well, maybe? Or is it just another Chrono? Uh, it's pro Frostbite is just better here, honestly. Chrono's good, but not great. Since, uh, my refresh is already at 8 and 11. Honestly, I don't know which one's best. We have 1100% skill damage. Almost 1200% skill damage. Wow, we're just gonna go crit then. We are fine on the skill damage, I'm pretty sure. One thing that I am quite looking for, or if we find it would be amazing, is Black Ice. Like I said at the beginning of the game, I think Black Ice was the better play over Frostbite. But, uh,. You just lose out on a lot of early damage, which isn't necessarily an issue. Just, uh, it's definitely a trade-off. Also, I froze them during an invulnerable phase. That was so unfortunate. Alright, is there even anything I can buy? Not really. Kinda just broke. Yeah, I would need 300 to buy the Black Ice. Black Ice is a, a low tier epic, so it only costs 300, like Frost Needle, but uh, can you come up and shop? And I am not rolling for it. To find Fury is not worth it. Okay, most of the crystals are near me, which is good, because that means I can just destroy them. Absolutely easy. I hope by this point you can uh, understand why we started with the build that we started with. Um, it, it literally just makes the game so much easier. And if you're looking for an easy way to beat Doom 25 on staff, it's just this easy. Like, really, it's just this easy. Just use the same run modifiers that I used, which I believe were 4 Haste, 4 Onslaughts, 4 Horde, and... Probably one Pantheon, one Malice, uh, Doused, and five Blitz, four Tyrant, I think. I think that was what I went with. Something like that, at least. Anyways, yeah, pretty easy. Pretty quick. Just under half an hour of this total playtime of A4, at least. We're up to A4. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Once again, it is on the slower side since you have to use uh, Horde, but not too bad at all. Now, in Nethera, we are looking for either skill damage or move speed as our first option, and hopefully our second as well. 
Uh, we'll go skill damage first, then move speed, and then just move on to the next area. The next half, I guess. Um, getting this room is kind of unfortunate, considering that there's a lot of enemies that spawn, like, not clumps together. But, uh, in other words, it's alright. It's not a big deal, really. Alright, nice. The good part about this build, once again, is things die really fast. Really fast. Which means, even, you know, there is way more enemies out on the board, um, they still die incredibly fast and don't really uh, take up too much time to kill. And the reason why I went to skill damage first, even though it's not uh, as bonus gems or anything on it, is because I want to double skill damage. So I went to skill damage first to get the double, and now I could do all the other rooms if I wanted to. But, uh, not going to. I'm just gonna do the ones I need. So, god damn. I really hate those beams. Those beams are really annoying. Yeah, I can just pick up all these stats stuff. Oh, another tip. I've probably said this before, but if you swap your skills and then grab Apple Crisp, it'll give it a bonus charge and then it'll keep it when you swap back as well. Very, very good and super useful. Um, especially if you have like two Apple Crisps and you pick up one with your main skill that you normally use and then it's full and you can't pick up the other. You can just swap your skills around then pick it up and your other skill will have that bonus charge as well or until you use it. Also, wow. This is very unlucky. We got a uh, refiner. I was really hoping for a shop. Seven hundred damage on rupture. It's actually crazy. Would never have thought Rupture to have 700 damage. Also, I'm already at like 1500% skill damage. Wow. Okay then. This build is scaling way harder than I was expecting. Also, we're gonna go refinement. Just to see if we can even... Uh, upgrade anything? I don't think we can though. First, we're just too broke. Yep, we are just too broke. But that's okay. We do gain 10 max armor though, as well, which is quite nice. So, this is actually not our last room, never mind. I was thinking this was the last room we had to do a boss fight, but it is not. Uh, we have one more seal to do. I guess. Yeah, I guess it's, they're called seals. One more seal to complete before we can get to boss fight. We did hit 1500% skill damage. Let's go. I wonder how many enemies we've killed. Obviously, more than 1500, because uh, we gain 1% per enemy killed with a skill, with Supreme Ambition, so that would be uh, actually telling us how many enemies we've killed with skills. We know we've killed more than 1500 enemies. What is the actual total going? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. This is going to be boss fight now. So, with that being said, place your bets. Am I going to be able to one cycle Praxis twice? Because I honestly don't think I will be able to. Really don't. So I need to swap that back. 
I don't think I'll be able to do it. Because I think I'm not going to gain my charges back. I think that's going to be the issue. So I'm not going to be able to recharge fast enough. But we'll see. Let's see what happens here. So, Chakram, Chakram, Chakram. Okay, that's three Chakrams. Spam through this. Let's just get through the next uh, phase here, which is phase two, otherwise known as the dodge phase, pretty much. Um, once again, I like to hide in this corner, so there's only like two, maybe three lasers. Actually, I think it's five. I think I counted one time, and I think it's five lasers hit this one spot. Like, this one doesn't... This one also doesn't. Uh, this next phase is a guaranteed two, I believe. Wow, I kind of just tank both. But, yeah. Pretty sure the one time I counted, it's five lasers hit that exact spot, which is not hard if you can figure out where in the patterns they attack from. And or just react. Reacting is fine, too. Alright, last phase here one cycle if I have two chakram charges which I'm not sure if I do or not I do not so I need to get my skill charges wow okay we left him so low I should just used the rupture charges um I'm mad now so now I have to go through this entire dumb phase by dumb I just mean time-consuming annoying like, all I need to do is just get one Chakram charge. And or just perfect the one charge that I did have. Anyways. So, that is how you beat Doom 25 on the staff. It is really easy with this build of Supreme Ambition, Onyx Raven, Burl Scepter, Frostbite. If you use those four relics to start, it, it will just be super easy. Like, ridiculously easy. Um... However, you could alter the build slightly by instead of using a Frostbite, take Black Ice, which will increase your skill damage, basically, or the damage each perfect skill does, because when you perfect a skill, a skill then applies Freeze, which then becomes a Freeze damaging skill, which then Black Ice increases all Freeze damage. So, since the skill acts as being a Freeze skill, or acts as Freeze damage, Black Ice will increase it by 50% per level, which is just ridiculous. Um, once again, sub 20 maybe? Ah, uh, just over. Damn. Who's that failed uh, one cycle in the second half? Anyways, yeah, that's how you unlock this weapon skin here. Or Doom 25. Very, very easy with this build. Once again, just to reiterate, Supreme Ambition, Onyx Raven, Pearl Scepter, and Frostbites. Or you can use Black Ice instead of Frostbite as well. Um, try to find a skill like Chakram or Arcane Bolts or uh, Rupture is even good, as you saw in this video. Uh, yeah, pretty much just, uh, just scale. That's that's the tip. Just scale. Makes it super easy. Alright, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video from me. And if you have any questions or just general things you want me to uh, answer, or yeah, just just anything, literally, if you've gotten this far, just put something in the comments. I read every single comment, and I'll try to get back to you um, as soon as possible. So that is the end of the video, and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one.